Now let's get your system ready to develop for the AR kit. We have 13 steps and step one is creating an ID for your Apple developer account. Step two, let's download the latest version of Xcode. We're gonna go back to the Apple developer website, so developer.apple.com. And at the top, you'll see the option to develop. So at the homepage, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna to go to the bottom where it says develop, click on that, and you'll see the option to download Xcode. Far left here, right next to Swift, click on Xcode, and at the top right, you'll see the option to download. Click on download. We're just gonna select the latest version of Xcode, not the beta. There may be some problems with it that haven't been yet discovered. You don't need to be a hero and test it out for them. That's gonna be the option to open up in the App Store. Go right ahead, open in the App Store, and the download shall proceed. On the far left, you'll see the option to download. In my case, I see the open button as I've already downloaded Xcode. So once you're finished the download, just click on open, bam, you have Xcode ready. Step three, we're gonna make sure that iOS build support is included in your Unity project. We're gonna go over and open a Unity project and you're going over to file at the top left. You're gonna click on build settings. Over here on the left side of the prompt, you'll see the options to pick your system developer. On the left side, you'll get to choose what uh, system you're developing for. And if we select iOS, we're just going to see whether or not we get a prompt in the right here that says you do not have iOS build support. In our case, we do, but if you do not, so to demonstrate, we're going to go over to our finder and look for our Unity Download Assistant. If you do not have the Download Assistant already in your file or you've deleted it, you go back to Unity's website and re-download Unity. So here, I have the Download Assistant. I'm clicking on the Download Assistant on the left, Unity Download Assistant, and another prompt comes up doing the whole introduction. So we're going to click on continue and through the license continue and I'll say agree and components. Now, if you do not have iOS build support included, you can then check, make sure that one is checked and you can uncheck, make sure all the other boxes are unchecked. Once you've done that, you can continue and go through with your normal installation. Here, circuit stream, I will enter my password. You select the hard drive you want to install to, hit continue, and then it will start downloading those components for you. Once your download is finished, you can simply finish your installation. I already have iOS built supported, so I'm going to go back on this. If you need to get the download assistant from Unity, just visit their website. Just search Google Unity, first one that comes up, and just click on Get Unity. And then you can pick your license. In my case, we'll just try personal and go through the normal process that you went through to download Assistant Unity in the first place. And to click download the Assistant for Unity and bam, it will then again download your system. Step four, we need to enable developer mode on your iOS device and make sure that it's updated to the latest iOS software. Over on your iPad, you're gonna look for the settings app. You're then gonna go back to your computer and launch Xcode. After you have Xcode launched, make sure to plug in your iPad to your computer and you should see in your general settings app a developer hammer icon appear. We're going to click on that. After you've launched Xcode on your computer, plug in your iPad or iPhone, your Apple device, into your computer, and then you should see a hammer icon appear saying developer in your general settings. You're just gonna tap on developer, and now your Apple device is ready to develop. Now step five, we're gonna create a new project in Unity. So let's go over and launch Unity. Once you've launched Unity, a prompt comes up with the listing of projects. You're gonna to go to the top right where it says new. You're gonna click that and create a new Unity project. So you can name it whatever you'd like. So I'll say your project name. And then at the bottom right, you're gonna click on create project. Once Unity has launched, you're going to download the ARKit plugin from the asset store. So at the top left, you should see Scene and Asset Store tab right next to it. You're gonna click on Asset Store. Once you've clicked on the tab, a search bar will load with a bunch of assets showing underneath. You're gonna click inside the search bar and type in ARKit Plugin. As the first one that appears, just click on that and you'll be directed to the store page. Scroll down to until you see a button that says Download. In my case, it says Import as I've already downloaded it. Once you've finished downloading, you're gonna click on the import button. And then it's going to say importing the complete package will overwrite your current project settings 
Just click on import anyway. Once you click on that, another prompt appears showing you a list of things you're about to import. Just click on import at the bottom right. Step six, we're gonna go over to edit at the top left and look for project settings towards the bottom. Once we're there, we're gonna look for the editor option, just the second one closer to the bottom. And on the far right in the inspector tab, you'll see a Unity remote icon appear. On the far right at the very top, the option for a drop down says none, device none. I'm just gonna click on that and select any iOS device. Step seven, we're gonna to go to the top here on the left, click on file and then open up your build settings. A prompt will appear with the build settings and it will give you the options for scenes and build, platform, and whether or not you wanna make this a development build. So at the top, first thing we're gonna do is make sure that our air kit scene is on. So scrolling through, the very first scene to be selected is the Unity AR kit scene. This is the basic one that the plugin comes with. So just gonna make sure that's checked off so it's in our project, in our build. And then at the second option is the one you want for your platform, iOS. And then you're going to make sure development build is checked off towards the right. And then you will just click switch platform. This will then change the builds you create with your project into ones that are compatible with the iOS devices. Step eight, we're gonna go back to the build settings prompt. So file, build settings. And at the bottom, you're gonna see player settings. So click on that on the left side. And you're gonna see a prompt for product name, an input field for your company name and your product name. So for the company name, you can type in, in our case, circuit stream. So I'll just type in CS. And for the product name, I'll type in zombie coffee. Now make sure to scroll down here into the other settings, the other settings section. And you're gonna look for this prompt, this input field that says bundle identifier. And it's gonna be com.unity.arkitscene. I'm gonna replace where it says Unity with your company name. So I'm just gonna type CS, matching the one I have at the top there. And my following that with dot zombie copy. It is case sensitive, so just make sure it's spelled the same way. Following that, you're gonna scroll down and check to see if camera usage description does have some value. If it doesn't, fill it out with AR space baby. That's the default that comes with AR kit scene. Next, scrolling down further, you're gonna look for a prompt that says target minimum iOS version. Next to that is the input field. By default, I believe it says seven. We're gonna replace that to 11.0. Now, step nine, go over to file at the top left and look for build settings. Third one from the bottom. And you're just going to click on build and run at the bottom right section of the prompt. You can also just click build and run when you go to file. And now you're gonna select your app name. So you can save as, I'll just write that, your app name. Click save. And since I already saved one before, I'm just gonna replace it. Now you'll see Xcode is launched with a build failure, if, uh, especially if your iPhone was not plugged in or it was locked. So now going forward, make sure your iPad or iPhone is plugged in and unlocked to uh, and attached to the device. Now, once you're here, we'll go over to step 10. At the top left, you'll see a drop down with a little prompt that says Unity iPhone. I'm just going to select that and it'll come across this general information now at the top left where it says Unity iPhone with a arrow to the right, you're gonna make sure you've selected your uh, particular device. By default, it may be generic iOS device, but you wanna make sure you select your particular device. In my case, it's just called Circuit Stream. Next, uh, you wanna go over to your signing section right here, and you're just going to select your personal team. So in my case, I uh, created Usman Mir. To make this faster, I'll just select Circuit Stream. Now moving on to the development info, you uh, wanna make sure your development target is selected and for this one, you wanna play 10.0. Uh, and under iPhone or iPad, you wanna make sure your correct device is selected. I'm using an iPad, so I will uh, select the iPad one. Right below that is your device orientation. When you're uh, turning your device around, which ones do you wanna be locked? Um, I'll let it be for now. Um, perhaps I'll just get rid of the upside down one. I don't wanna be able to turn it all the way around. Now, step 11, making sure your device is unlocked and on. 
You're going to go up to the top where it says product and you're going to select the first option that says run. It will then attempt to launch your app onto your phone or iPad.